Meet the all new Pixel 2a. Sorry. Meet the all new Nothing Phone 2a. The brand that tried to compete with iPhone with the first version, then failed with the second version, is now trying to compete with Google Pixel mid range handsets. <laughs> Serious? It doesn't have the best software or camera, neither it has the best YouTube channel. It's just hoping that the backlight will pull the users. What does he think we are? Insects? <coughs> Most of the time, we'll be watching the screen. Who cares about the lights? But this video is not about the Nothing Phone 2. No. No. Mm -mm. It's about why you should buy Pixel phones if you haven't got one. After I saw the first Pixel, I was so impressed, I had to buy Pixel 2 XL, then Pixel 3a, then 4a. Actually, it's my dad's. Now I have the Pixel 6a. In spite of all the drawbacks, which I will talk about later in this video, I can't ship to any other brand. So here are the reasons why you should be buying a Pixel, the camera. It is the major selling point of Pixel phones. iPhone and Samsung might have more camera settings, but no matter how many megapixels you add to your smartphone's portfolio, the picture quality of Pixel smartphones are unparalleled. The depth of field, skin color, accuracy are mirrorless camera level. Okay, digital zoom of no smartphone can match the level of optical zoom, but if zooming is so much important for you, buy a goddamn camera. The magic eraser works like magic, the unblur, portrait light, easy cropping option and other options in photo editing makes the work so much easier. The screenshot is also the best in Pixel. Just tap the square button then tap on the screenshot or press select then choose the image or text then either save it or copy it or do Google search or just ask Google Lens to give you other options. Pixel 2XL, 3A, 4A had bad batteries, but Pixel 6A and next generations have bigger and better batteries. All Pixel phones are very thin and if you buy the budget version, then it will be very light as well for having plastic body. You don't really have to buy the flagship version. The mid-range one has all the important features of the flagship version, which is why I buy the mid-range ones. Even if the older versions stop getting updates, they are still better than other brands. My 3A and 4A are doing just fine. No need to upgrade every year. Since it is Google phone, there are only Google preload apps. Not all, but the common ones are there. So the useless apps that you find in other smartphones, which you cannot delete, doesn't exist here. No one really talks about it, but the design of Pixel smartphones stand out. It's very minimalist, simple and modern and the interface is not difficult to understand. Pixel user, if needed, have support option. You can call or chat with Google support in your preferred time slot. EMI has killed the status symbol aspect of iPhone. Since any Tom, Dick and Harry can buy a smartphone and any other costly handsets, the selling point of every smartphone boils down to user friendliness and software features. Since Google get to test its software through so many Android brands, it can offer the best of the lot in its own handset. Now the three drawbacks. The handsets are not easily available offline and online like the Samsung and iPhone. Flipkart is the official online distributor which sucks because Amazon has better delivery setup and customer care services. Service center is still an issue, so is the availability of its parts. But recently, Google has announced pairing in future will be a lot easier. The biggest drawback is, after a long phone call or extensive usage, when I used to put my Pixel 3a in my pocket, it used to feel like putting a burning coal beside my delegates. <laughs> Pixel 6a also has this issue and so does the next generation. This is a 6000 rupees handset. I use this only for work. It is low, camera is alright, but it doesn't have a heating issue. Pixel should be ashamed they could not fix this. Having said that, besides iPhone and Samsung, only Google has the money and technology to run the big race. 
iPhone is taking a beating from EU frequently and it is lacking in innovation lately. Samsung on the other hand is helping Google to enter more in the smartphone market. So it's just a matter of time until Pixel will gain significant customer base just like it has gained in cheap laptop market through Chromebooks.